Welcome and congratulations. We're really impressed that you've made the foray into not just the realm of heart rate tracking and training, but also looking into how you can personally customize your heart rate zones and training plans to get the best results for you. In the end, when you have zones that fit you personally, it just feels right and gives you a great sense of satisfaction and knowledge. We're all unique. How much our hearts beat in any given minute, including determining a maximum heart rate, is a very personal science. Factors include your physical size, the physical size of your heart, how fit you are, how efficient your lungs are, and many other biological and environmental aspects. Unfortunately, or fortunately, back in 1970, the team Dr. William Haskell and Dr. Samuel Fox wrote a report with the idea that you can set your heart rate zones by estimating your maximum heart rate using the formula 220 minus your age and then setting 10% as zone boundaries. While it was simple and helped spread the acceptance and use of heart rate during exercise, Dr. Haskell is said to have laughed about things later as the formula was, quote, never supposed to be an absolute guide to rule people's training, end quote. The report itself was actually based on data from around 11 references, and there had been a few flaws in it, even including some unpublished scientific compilations used in the calculations. For us here, it makes us cringe to think so many take the formula for granted, which then also means we're so excited you're here to learn how to set your own values for heart rate zones in our apps. Whether you got your custom zone sets from our online zone creation tool, or just want to tweak what's there, we can get you going. I'm Chris, with my running partner, Elmer. My partner there is Andy, who will help us along the journey. As a side, if you want to learn more about using heart rate, check out our posts on why you need personal zones, calculations using new formulas, fitness assessments, and how to find your maximum heart rate, resting heart rate, and more at fitdigits.com slash heart rate. So really, we're here to show you how to customize your heart rate zone sets in the apps. First, if really all you want to do is change your maximum heart rate manually and let the default 10% zones flow out of that, you can do that in the fitness section of your profile. So you tap the menu and then your name. For those using more complex formulas, such as the zones we auto-calculate for our members, you can also set your resting heart rate in the profile we do have an entire section dedicated to tracking resting heart rate in, in the app too, which will be reflected here as well. Those two factors, maximum and resting heart rate, are typically the base for most people's zone sets, so getting them right is important. For more on them and different heart rate zone calculations, check us out online. Since most of us want to do something more custom than just change maximum heart rate, such as setting zones using the Zoldav method or Carbonon, uh, I hope I pronounced those all right. Let's go on to more complete customization of heart rate zones. On iOS, we save unique heart rate zone sets on a per activity basis. Let's set some custom zones for run as an example. Tap on the run options gear icon. As a reminder, the best estimates of both your proper heart rate zones and your fitness level relating to VO2 max can easily be determined with one of our fitness assessments. We have some for every level and intention, so no excuses. Anyway, scroll down a little and tap Run Options, then tap Heart Rate Zones. You can see here the different zones I get with my membership to Fit Digits. These are some of the most updated formulas that you can keep updated as you get healthier so they maintain their value. If you wanted, you could edit these as well as create your own heart rate zones. So to add a new zone set, tap Add Zone Set. You must give each unique zone set a unique name. Tap the border levels for the zones to change the numbers there. Tap the zone names to give them more appropriate names. And finally, tap Save when you're all done. This will save the zones so they'll now be available to all activity types. However, there is one last step in setting a new zone set as a default for running. Go in and tap Set Default and that will then set it as a default for run. For other pre-existing zone sets, all you have to do is tap on it and then tap set default. The yellow heart here means the zone set still needs syncing to the cloud to be available to other devices or future installations. So you'll probably want to run a sync to save your work. 
That's about it for setting zones. If you want to learn more about pace zones or about heart rate in general, why we think it's so important, and why I cardio, I runner, I biker, I walker are some of the best heart rate training apps in the world, again, please visit us online at fitdigits.com slash heart rate and get the most out of your training and tracking by becoming a star member for all kinds of perks and benefits. We appreciate you being on the journey with us to a healthy life. Cheers from all of us at Fit Digits.